These are not household names for Golden State anymore. And one guy that is is on the free throw line. And he hits them all. So he extends his consecutive free throw made to 67 in a row. And that's a record. Here is Rose. He's got to shoot. Let's it fly. Counts if it goes. A little too strong. Had a good nice look. shot, though. Yep. So halftime here at Little Caesars Arena. Pistons just 30% shooting, yet they lead. Pistons 51, Golden State 48. Second quarter was presented by DraftKings. And this time out brought to you by the all new Kia K5 GT. Give it everything. Cheeser, cheeser, pepperoni cheeser, you know you got what I like. Introducing Little Caesars Hot and Ready Pepperoni Cheeser Cheeser for just seven bucks. You get a large pizza with classic pepperoni, fresh mozzarella, and a sprinkle of sweet basil surrounded by an irresistible toasted parmesan and Asiago cheese crust for just seven dollars at Little Caesar. Cheeser, cheeser, pepperoni cheeser, you know you got what I like. Pizza, pizza. Someday, things will get back to normal. Until then, Flagstar Bank is doing everything we can to keep you connected to your money. You can access your checking account 24-7 through 56,000 fee-free ATMs, online and mobile, where you can transfer funds, pay bills, and deposit checks. And Flagstar drive throughs are open. Flagstar Bank, the power of the human interest rate. Visit flagstar.com slash checking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. The finished a load of laundry. Drop the kids off at daycare, hit the gym for a quick workout, stop by Mickey D's to grab some breakfast, got to work before my boss did, and it's only 9 a.m. meal. There's a meal for every morning on the McDonald's one two three dollars menu. Get a sausage McMuffin with egg, egg McMuffin, or bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Any two for just $5. Breakfast hours only. Single item at regular price. Price and participation may vary. Can I be combined with combo meal? The NBA is back. Where else can you get this type of drama? Where else does history hang from the rafters? Jalen Brown throws it down. Where else is your own city? Home to your biggest rival. The battle of the lake is real, people. And 30 feet is still in range. Hurry, action! Where else can a city this loud be this slept on? Get it out of here. Where else is history? Still in the making. Oh my goodness! Where else? The NBA. Only here. Season continues on ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV. In business, follow-through is everything. At EverStream, the business-only fiber network, it's at the core of what we do. Because we believe business deserves better. EverStream's proven full-service approach to business connectivity can't be matched by the big providers. Don't settle for the status quo. Your business deserves experts, not excuses. Join the business-only fiber network. EverStream. Faster fiber. Better business. EverStream.net. This is the Detroit Pistons Halftime Show on the Pistons Radio Network. Brought to you by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Flagstar Bank, official banking and mortgage partner of your Detroit Pistons. Jeep, your official domestic vehicle of your Detroit Pistons. Coppercraft Distillery, never when it's young, only when it's ready. Here's your host, Chris Falar. Welcome into the Halftime Show, presented by Bell Four. Two games in as many nights for the Pistons, who dominated the boards in the first half and hit their threes. And after 24 minutes, Detroit pacing the game 51-48 to at Little Caesars Arena to lead the Golden State Warriors. Now the Pistons, wearing the new Motor City Edition uniforms for the first time tonight, looking pretty sharp, look good, feel good, play good, as they say. And Dwayne Casey keeping Josh Jackson into the starting lineup after his 27-point effort last Last night, DeLon Wright with a little balance in that second unit. Derrick Rose and Sadiq Bey were the first off the bench, followed by DeLon Wright. And the offensive rebounding still piling up. It really shows the effort of this team. Mason Plumley and Isaiah Stewart really doing some work out there. Now, the Warriors used to be this terrifying team in past years, but injuries have really made them vulnerable since last year, as no Clay Thompson and Draymond Green has missed a ton of time as well. Of course, they do still have some Steph Curry, maybe the greatest shooter in NBA history, but even he has been a little bit mortal lately. Again, keep in mind, Golden State giving up 130 points per game so the Pistons can keep on attacking. Let's take a look at the rundown of the first half of play. 
A pretty uh, long stretch of action to begin the game. The first break wasn't until midway through the first period. Killian Hayes playing that tight defense on Steph Curry. He's been a bit of a pest on defense for the Pistons, so that's very good. 12-10 to 10 Warriors, six minutes into the game, and Detroit shots not really falling early, but Blake did hit another three. Remember, he had eight in his last game that he played. Multiple lead changes, but no real runs in the period, which ended 29-24. to 24. Sadiq Bey with eight off the bench. Isaiah Stewart with a nice tip-in at the buzzer at the end of one. Some offensive boards by Stewart and triples by Wright and Bay pushing the lead to 11 for the Pistons, and Blake Blake would hit another three as well. Just moments later, things were really clicking. Detroit was up a dozen before a, a little Warriors run, cutting it to five with 640 left, 40 to 35 in favor of Detroit. And the double-digit lead would return a few minutes later with a Jeremy Grant long ball that forced a Steve Kerr timeout, 45 to 35. Grant, two of ten, but that was a big bucket there. Some back and forth and some trips to the line as well by both sides. And at the end of two, 51 to 48, the Pistons enjoying themselves a lead. They are up by three. Let's take a look at the box score as Josh Jackson, 12 points right now. He's starting again tonight, had 27 last night in the game, four of eight from the floor. Eight points apiece from Blake Griffin and Jeremy Grant as Blake getting back out there after a night of rest and the first night of the back-to-back. -back. Also has five rebounds, three assists, and a steal. Mason Plumley with only one point in the game just from the free throw line, but he did have eight rebounds, four of them being offensive. Killian Hayes playing that defense on Steph Curry, but he is still struggling offensively. 0 for 4 from the floor. Did not have an assist in 14 minutes of work so far. Seiko Dumbuya played three minutes in the game thus far. Four points for him. Also three from DeLon Wright, Derek Rose, and Isaiah Stewart, each with a couple of points. And then Sadiq Bey still keeping it going after his start last night. He's three of six from the floor, hit three three-pointers, a couple of free throws, 11 points off the bench for the rookie. On the other side, 10 points apiece from Steph Curry and Andrew Wiggins, obviously very good at scoring the basketball. Eight points for Oubre and four points for the rookie James Wiseman, who has been pretty impressive so far in this stretch for the Warriors. Eddie Pascal has six points off the bench on two of two. The Pistons shooting got a little bit better and better as the first half went on. They've hit uh, eight three-pointers out of 24 attempts. That's 33%. They're 15 of 50 overall. Meanwhile, the Warriors hitting five of 17 threes for less than 30% there. Also, free throws. The Pistons have hit 13 of 15. The Warriors have actually been missing theirs. 11 of 17 from the charity stripe. And I mentioned the Pistons doing pretty well on the boards tonight. They're out rebounding the Warriors 31 to 21. And how about this? 12 offensive rebounds for Detroit. Most of those coming from Plumlee and from Stewart. Turnover situation. The Pistons, a tidy five turnovers so far, as the Warriors have six so far in this game. Points in the paint pretty even. Fouls pretty even. Largest lead of the game was a dozen for the Pistons. It is now down to three at the moment, but they still pretty, seem pretty comfortable out there at Little Caesars Arena. Hopefully they can keep up the energy. Pistons fans, spend New Year's Day from the comfort of your couch and tune in for an old school rivalry as Derek Rose and the Pistons take on Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics at 7 p.m. that night. Tune in to Fox Sports Detroit and for the entire broadcast schedule, visit Pistons.com slash schedule. Up next, we'll check the other scores from around the NBA. You're listening to the Halftime Show presented by Belfour. Someday, hopefully soon, real life will return. Until then, Flagstar Bank is doing everything we can to assure you that we're here to provide the personalized solutions you need and keep you connected to your money. That's the human interest rate in action. And it's why Go Banking Rates ranked Flagstar one of the 10 best national banks. Flagstar Bank, the power of the human interest rate. Visit flagstar.com slash human. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hey, Pistons fans, you can now bet on basketball in Michigan with the FanDuel Sportsbook, an official partner of the Detroit Pistons. Best of all, your first bet is risk-free. Get up to $1,000 back if you don't win. 
Just download the FanDuel Sportsbook app to get started. Must be 21 plus and present in Michigan. First online real money wager only. Site credit is non-withdrawable and expires in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problems? Call 1-800-270-7117. Piston fans, in a season unlike any other, no matter where you're at, you can see the Pistons tick on the best the NBA has to offer. All season long on Fox Sports Detroit in 97 won the ticket as your home for Pistons basketball. Every game, every thriller, every Detroit basketball loose ball, every win, every heart stopper. It's all covered on Fox Sports Detroit and 97 won the ticket. From pregame keys to the game to the postgame locker room reaction, they've got you covered. For the complete schedule of games and tip times, go to Pistons.com forward slash schedule. Sports fans are gearing up at NBAstore.com, the official store of the NBA. And the largest assortment of NBA fan gear anywhere with unique one-of-a-kind designs by Fanatics and authentic fan gear, the latest styles for every NBA team and all the players you love. Don't wait. Shop now and get today's special offer. NBAstore.com, a Fanatics experience. Welcome back to the Halftime Show, presented by Belfour as the Pistons enjoying a three-point lead over the Warriors, 51-48, to the second half of a back-to-back. Detroit got Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose back out there after a night of rest in Atlanta. So far, so good. Let's take a look around the association presented by DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the Detroit Pistons, as the Cavaliers, they're 3-0, and trying to get to 4-0. and Currently, they're down a point to the Knicks at home, 56-55, to a few minutes into the third quarter. Andre Drummond, 14 points and 11 rebounds. Also, middle third, the Celtics down to the Pacers, 66-62. to Victor Oladipo has 20 in the game thus far. The Bulls and the Wizards playing in D.C. Chicago up 52-46. to one of these teams going to get its first win of the season. Porter Jr. has 14 for Chicago. At the half, the 76ers trailing the Raptors 56 to 48. Kyle Lowry has a dozen points in that game so far. The Bucks on top of the Heat by uh, quite a wide margin, 61 to 32, midway through the second period. The Magic and the Thunder playing in OKC, 24 to 22 in favor of the Magic. Meanwhile, back in Detroit, it is the Pistons up on the Warriors. 51 to 48. Josh Jackson has 12 points in the game. And for the start of the third quarter, that's going to be coming up in moments. You are listening to the halftime show presented by Belfour. So, yeah, hair loss. It's not inevitable. It's definitely not unavoidable. And it's not something you have to just live with. Trust my doctors, Drs. Barry, Tesler, and Aronovitz. They're hair restoration experts. With over 30 years of experience working with the very latest treatments and technologies, and now Drs. Barry, Tesler, and Aronovitz are the exclusive providers of the RTAS Robotic Assisted Hair Transplantation Procedure. And you don't have to go far. It's right here in Metro Detroit. With the RTAS technology, Dr. Ali Barry could restore your hair in a minimally invasive procedure, giving you the thickness you want and the hairline you like. And it requires no stitches, leaves no linear scar, it has a quick recovery, and, most importantly, the results are natural-looking. Oh, and Dr. Barry personally meets with all of his patients. He'll give you honest and realistic options and recommendations to restore your hair. The procedure's called RTAS. It's state-of-the-art, and it works for both men and women. So give Drs. Barry, Tesler, and Aronovitz a call at 248-353-1117 or online at mihairdoc.com. CGC Water is offering special holiday financing for a limited time with approved credit. Call 855-339-4242 for more details and enjoy the benefits of a Kinetico system installed by CGC Water. You'll feel better knowing you're using cleaner, safer, and purified water from CGC Water. This month, get a free Kinetico A200 reverse osmosis system when you purchase a Kinetico Premier Softener. Call CGC Water at 855-339-4242 or visit cgcwater.com, your local independent Kinetico dealer. 2021 is looking bright, but our confidence is highest when we have a safety net. For most of us, the best safety net is cash. Cash can solve a lot of problems. I'm Mark Tapper, and we created Tapper's Gold Exchange to transform unwanted diamond and gold jewelry into cash you can use. You might already have a safety net sitting in an old jewelry box. Let's turn it into a bright future. Tapper's! Get 20% above our normal rates right now at Tapper's Gold Exchange. West Bloomfield, Novi, and Troy. 
Pistons fans, check out our brand new merchandise line for the latest Pistons apparel. Gear up with the Pistons at the all new Pistons 313 shop. Dot com. Welcome back to the Halftime Show, presented by Belfour. It's the Pistons 51, the Warriors 48, as Detroit hungry for their first win of the season, hopefully. For the start of the third quarter, let's send it back to Mark Champion and Rick Mahorn. And Rick, as we've seen in the first couple of games of the year, one thing the Pistons do need to learn is how to close out a victory. Yeah, you have to close out a victory and especially close out a quarter. And that second quarter... Golden State got back into this game by uh, not re- not quitting, but the Pistons got to do a better job of not allowing them to get points in the paint, and that's where they got 14 points in the paint. Got to remind you, online casino slots and table games coming to Michigan. Registration open at the award-winning BetRivers.com. Sign up now. BetRivers will give you an extra fifty dollars in site credit when the first bets are made. Go to BetRivers.com today. Must be twenty-one. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117. Pending regulatory licensing. It's time for the halftime stats of the game presented by the Sam Bernstein Law Firm. Pistons only 30% shooting, 15 to 50. In fact, in the second quarter, Rick, they were only 6 of 22. But yet they lead by 3, 51-48. The Warriors 42%, 5 for 17. And you and I talked about it in 18 minutes. Steph Curry only has 10 points. Has only attempted six shots, only three three-point attempts. Is he going to step it up here in the uh, second half? Well, I know you've got to worry about him because he they call him the chef for a reason because he can cook real quick. Yes, he can. <laughs> and the fact of the matter, he scored their last three points at the free throw line, so that can only encourage some players like him. And Derek Rose, some concern. Rose had the night off last night, the previous game against Cleveland. He was 4 of 15 in the first half tonight, just 1 for 9. Blake Griffin only attempted three shots in the first half, had eight points. Josh Jackson with 12, Sadiq Bay with 11 to lead Detroit. Wiggins and Curry each at 10 for Golden State. Those are some of the stats from the first half presented by the Sam Bernstein Law Firm. Well, let's see what we got here as this uh, third quarter is about to get underway. Pistons have a couple of days off and then consecutive games with the Boston Celtics and then consecutive road games with the Milwaukee Bucks. So four tough games coming up. Not that this one isn't. Kelly and Hayes with it coming right to left. Trying to post up and there's a kickball. Try to get it into Mason Plumley. Well, I like the way the Pistons are trying to get Mason Plumley, you know, to start the offense and put him in that mid-post range where he can make good passes. Josh Jackson to inbound it. He got a little conversation with Ben Taylor as the teams were warming up to begin this quarter. Jackson got teed up. He'll drive toward the rim, and that shot is blocked. I hope he made some niceness. Steph Curry with the basketball. Curry extended his consecutive free throws made record. As the ball got a little screen from Toscano Anderson, lets it fly, Rick, and mm-hmm. missed it. So he takes an early three here in the third quarter. Plumley with the ball, top of the key. Three-point lead Detroit gets it to Hayes. Ah, oh, nice pass. Found Jeremy Grant for the dunk. Nice pass. Nice interior cut. 53-48 Detroit. Curry with the ball, top of the key. Out on the left wing, and that is a three by Toscano Anderson, who uh, Steve Kerr likes a lot. Yeah, I mean, in that lineup, and he can shoot the ball, likes the way he plays defense. He said he'll be in the lineup, starting lineup, as long as Raymond Green is out. 53-51, Pistons by just two. Mason Plumley dives toward the basket, sweeping hook shot. He really got too far behind the rim and missed it. Now Steph Curry to Toscano Anderson again, right sideline. Sadiq Bey starting this third quarter. Oubre for three. That rolls off no good. And Plumlee will let it go out of bounds. Dodge one there because right now Golden State, even though they're shooting from the three, three, six for 20, they're going to continue to shoot it. So Blake Griffin is not out there. to start this third quarter. Sadiq Bay lets her fly. That's short. This one's not shooting well. 53-51. Race. Oh, that's got to be an offense. Oh, block. they call a block. Yeah, and I mean, the reason why I said that it's a block, I, I like the way 
Golden State is pushing the ball, but you got to get back quickly. So they call a blocking foul, and uh, Dwayne Casey uh, pleading his case. Sadiq Bay on the call. Rodney Mott over there to uh, explain that one. Oh, he was <laughs> from that angle. Let's see. We're looking at it. Oh, that's a charge. Yeah, that, that that's a charge. That looked like a bad call. And did they content, let him continue? Ball don't lie. Ball but, don't lie. But it was, they thought it was. Uh, it would have been. It's a continuation. So he got that one. Could have been three. So 53-53. Could have taken the lead. Down to the bucket. <laughs> Kelly Oubre. Mm-hmm. And a turnover at the other end. 